So this is one of our mixers we offer here at Zebra. This is a three gallon per minute, zero to 25% mix ratio. So this is how you'll receive it from shipping. And we'll go ahead and open the box. Pull it out here. So this is how you should receive the mixer from shipping. All packaged, everything rubber banded and your paperwork here. So to start, what we'll do is, is remove all the bubble wrap. And that's what a complete unit looks like. We'll remove the paperwork and set that aside. We'll remove the other rubber bands. Now this is your discharge hose. And this is your check valve or your ball valve. And this right here is the drum bung. This goes into the 55 gallon drum and holds the mixer upright. This right here is your check valve. This stops water going back down into your coolant drum and contaminating your mix. This is the actual mixer itself. It creates a venturi on the inside which then draws your coolant up and mixes it and sends it out to a bucket or wherever of your choice. That's the adjusting dial and you also have a little helpful hints card. For installation, you'll take your skimmer what you're gonna do is, is make sure this is loose and slides freely. Bring it up to the top, and then you'll want to insert it into your 55 gallon drum. Bring this down, and then screw it in. It doesn't have to be super tight. Its main purpose is to hold the mixer upright. Lock that down, and you're good to go. So this is your discharge, and basically all this is gonna do is, you're gonna stick it right on this end. You wanna make sure that you see the zebra. If the direction goes as the arrow, so input, output. So on your output, what you'll do is, is Stick it right on there. And this goes into a bucket, five gallon pail, or directly into the sump. This is the discharge hose we provide. We recommend that you do not change the length of this because it can create back pressure and you won't get your correct mix. Now this is your, your water inlet ball valve. Where this goes, this will hook up to your water source, and this goes directly onto the Zebra mixer. Make sure all your fittings are tight and everything is locked down and watertight. And this turns your flow on and off. The water starts the venturi, which then creates the mix. So when the water stops, you're not mixing coolant. We also recommend that you don't change this inlet because this is required to create the venturi in the mixer casting. So do not change your water inlet or your output. We recommend that you install it as we provide.